Farting at the gym. Everyone does it. Everybody's on high protein diets and protein drinks and that stuff makes you fart. A lot of ab work is being done. Because when you're doing ab work, your body <laughs> wants to fart. I don't get that, but... It's because you don't do abs. <laughs> that is a good Jesus point. Christ. So if you're walking through the gym and you smell a fart and you see two people in the vicinity, one's a dude and one's a hot chick, your brain as a guy is just going to go towards that the guy fart. And I think even a girl would probably think the same thing because us guys just don't want to think the girls fart. Which means if you're a girl and you fart at the gym, you don't have to worry about anything. When you fart at the gym and you're on a precious bench or a precious squat rack that you don't want to give up, do you risk having other people walk by, smelling it and, say, and thinking that, oh, this dude smells like shit? Or do you get up and leave and risk that somebody's going to take your bench or a precious piece of equipment? Or do you just be like, be proud of it? Because there are some guys that, that would just be like... Ah, yeah! If you're working out at a gym where there's all dudes, then it's probably not a big deal. But if you're at a gym and there's a few hot girls and, you, and there's a chance that one of the hot girls is going to walk by at any given time, then chances are you're going to hold that in until they're gone. We're going to go through some fart dispersion techniques that you can utilize in your workout. First thing is you can try to inhale it and as goofy as that sounds, that's where you fart or whatever like that and, and you, you stick your head slightly down and you're like... <sighs> I've seen people do it, so I don't know if they're doing the same thing because of the same situation or genuinely when somebody gets hyped up for a, for a heavy bench, they're like <laughs> But I suspect that they're just trying to filter the air with their own nasal passage and blow out the clean air. But how are they blowing out the clean air if it's going through their body and coming back out their body? Unless they're like... <laughs> chewing some pleasantly scented gum. If, as it passed over the, the cinnamon gum, it comes out with a hint of cinnamon. <laughs> Number eight, flail your arms and body around to just wave the fart away from you. It looks like you're stretching. Again, like the getting ready for a bench thing. Like they got wings, but you could sort of, as you're doing that, cup the air and just dis disperse it. You could disperse the air everywhere. And it looks like, hey, this guy's getting ready for a freaking massive epic uh, bench. Uh, number seven is when you, you have a protein shaker that you can squeeze, a squeeze bottle. If you know you're going to fart and hopefully it's silent, you can squeeze that bottle as long as you, it's empty. Stick it to your butthole and as you fart, if you can throttle that fart slowly enough and time the release of the bottle so it sucks it in at the same time, there's a chance that you could get either all of that fart sucked into the bottle or at least most of it. But if you were wearing shorts, you might even be able to get away with actually sticking the bottle up your shorts and placing the nozzle of the opening of the bottle right against your asshole, thereby ensuring that all of the disgusting air is captured into the bottle. Technique 7B is to use that same empty bottle as a tool to disperse the air around you, use the bottle to suck in normal air and to spread out the fart around you. Number six, a spray bottle in a rag. You can always pretend mm -hmm. that you're going to wipe off your bench because most gyms have a spray bottle in rags. And you could put it on that like wide fan out spray and not like the stream. And if you farted in the area, quickly go grab one of those and just kind of spray it all around the area and pretend you're wiping it off the bench. The uh, stench is gonna adhere to the, to the wetness, just get brought down and it's probably not gonna get any higher. It's kinda yeah. just like a makeshift air freshener. Number five, you, uh, leave something on the, that one of those precious machines and just go run outside or go run into the bathroom, fart your brains out, and then come back out. Unless you're like me and I have a problem with farts trailing behind me for, for an extended long period of time. I, 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 sometimes I've experienced that, so what I do is, what are they saying when you're running? Somebody's shooting at you and you wanna do a certain zigzag pattern? So you just kinda do that and then the, the, the fart follows you, but it gets so tough and intricate that it just kind of dissipates. That's a good you. idea. Number four, pull your shirt up and cup the fart. When you pull your shirt down, it, it will disperse it, or you could try to hold it in your shirt, or you could be standing up, fart, and then pretend you're looking at your abs in the mirror like, oh, it's hot, like this. And, you know, you look it. But then what's really happening is you're getting some air at your face, but you're dispersing the fart in all directions that are going downward. So that, that's pretty viable because I'm feeling a lot of friggin' air up here. Uh, number three, uh, you can fan yourself off with a yoga mat. Maybe you're trying to get extra comfortable and trying to get the yoga mat to fall just perfectly on the floor. But instead, running around and going crazy trying to fan the fart away. Number two, 
loudly and obviously blame it on your partner or blame it on somebody else which is kind of always funny. Wait for somebody in your area to have their back turned to you and you know everybody else around you smells. That's when you that's when you kind of blame it on the guy who doesn't know that you're blaming it on that guy and now you are in the clear forever. But I remember when I was younger, some of my buddies would, would always do that, you know, and if there'd be cool chicks around and when you really gave a shit, they'd be like, oh, did you fart? And it's like, Dude, why do you gotta do that? You know, what do you say if you're that guy that's getting blamed? How do you cover for that? Like, oh no, you're just saying that. You did it. Number one, you just be proud of it. You fart, own up to it, let it happen, keep on working out like you don't give a shit. Yeah, I knew a guy that, he was like hardcore dude with everything. He'd be squatting, he'd let her rip, and he'd just say, excuse me. But he wasn't, he wasn't a fun guy. He wasn't like a funny dude. He was just Joe's serious about everything. Just and, a bodily motion. And that's what excuse made it me. weird. It was like, now this guy, if he would have been funny about it, it probably would have been cool. Ah, it's cool. But he was real serious all the time. Is it better than just not saying excuse me and just letting it happen and not drawing attention to it? I think it's not better to call any attention. Just fart. Really? No, I, I, w I used to take some yoga classes, mostly women, and I would just go in there doing like ab classes and stuff like that. We'd all be laying on yoga mats, moving our legs up and down. Half of the time of my strength that I was utilizing my ab muscles for was to hold in my farts because the last thing I wanted to do was fart in a room full of like oh, yeah. half attractive women. Every once in a while, you'd hear a <laughs> and then like... You'd look around and wait for somebody to start giggling, and nobody would giggle, and it would just be this awkward silence that... And I think it would have been funnier if that one woman could have owned up to it and said, Excuse me! I, I, I disagree, because it. if you don't admit to it, maybe a couple people around you knew it was you, but to me it's better than the whole class knowing it was you, because from that point on, you're known as the person that farted. Mm -hmm. He's the person that farted. And you don't want that. Okay, so that's it. And if any of you guys out there have your own techniques on ways that you can avoid uh, being accused of farting in the gym, if you fart in the gym, please leave a comment below. Or if you have any comments or suggestions on how we can make any of the techniques we said any better, please leave a comment below. <laughs>